think the one thing that I might miss about having green hair is how good I look in red flannel. <laughs> like I just feel like it goes so well with red flannel and I love red flannel. That's like my favorite pattern slash material. But <laughs> we're just gonna have to let that go because I'm so sick of this. Anyways, you guys, so I did so much research on this for the past couple days. I've been watching so many videos from so many different people and basically, <laughs> This is what my hair be looking like. Oh yeah, okay, so um, I'm still not sure if I'm gonna include the footage, but I already tried um, the baking soda method on just this patch of hair right here, just to test um, like what would happen because I didn't wanna just like put it on all of my hair and maybe my hair falls out, <laughs> I don't know, because I am not a professional. So basically it i don't know if you can tell on camera but it did work a little bit like this is slightly different from like this um i'll see if the camera picks it up but as you can see they're both like full of split ends like <laughs> i should probably just like cut it right here so it barely made a difference. Um, I don't think a big enough difference to warrant me like putting it on my entire head of hair because in order to make any change that is meaningful to me, I would have to do it like 10 times. And at that point, like <laughs> I might as well just bleach it, right? But I don't wanna bleach it. I'm gonna do everything I can not to bleach it. Okay, so this next method I found um, this is gonna be definitely like a gamble. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I saw this girl, she had like greenish blue hair. Um, it was actually a lot lighter than mine, so this might turn out totally different on me. Hers was like a lot more faded, but I mean at this point I feel like this is as faded as, as, faded as I can get it. Like I've shampooed this so intensely like a million times. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna even like fade more. I've just done like so many layers of green and blue that I don't think it's gonna really like go away that quickly with just shampoo. Um, but basically, okay, so this girl took pink dye, like really diluted pink dye with conditioner and put it on her green hair and her hair turned like purple, right? But then the purple faded into like a white, silver, like just beautiful color, like a really light, beautiful color. And I found another person doing that same method. Um, they didn't necessarily want purple hair, but they knew that purple fades nicely into like a silver. So they would do, they would go from green to purple to eventually get it to fade into a light color and I want it to fade so this might literally just make my hair purple um, and then I'll be stuck with the same problem but with purple hair that I don't want but you know what I'm willing to try anything right now at this point because bleaching would be like my very last resort I'm gonna try not to bleach it maybe later but not now <laughs> um, so the reason they do this they put like a a pink or a red. I mean actually everyone that I've seen has done pink because um, apparently that's opposite color wheel of green so it will color correct properly. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't have pink dye um, so I do have red dye and I believe this ion red is like pink base like this always would fade pink so I think that's fine. I'm just gonna put like the tiniest drop of it because I don't want red hair again. Um, I'm gonna put, yeah, just the tiniest drop of this in my thing of conditioner that I have. Um, my jar, because I'm out of bowls right now. Um, just like the tiniest little drop. That was a tiny bit of red and it's already turning like a dark pink. It's already like this color. It looks yummy to me, like, I just wanna like eat this. It looks like frosting. I don't want my hair to turn pink. I don't want my hair to turn red. <sighs> Let's add more conditioner. I'm gonna run out of conditioner. In an attempt to dilute it even further, I just dampened my hair a little bit. 
but we have our mixture here it's just this cupcake pink all right let's just go for it it's so funny that i put like the tiniest tiniest drop of red and it's still like this really pink color if this does absolutely nothing at the very least um i will have soaked my hair and conditioner <laughs> which is probably good for it because it probably needs some hydration. Okay, so it's all in there. It is about 1 p.m. I'm going to wait, I don't know, maybe one or two hours before washing this out. Um, about halfway through dyeing, I did add a tiny, tiny little drop of red, another one, to the mix. Um, just because I wasn't sure if it was even going to do anything at all, I started to get worried. So I added a tiny, tiny bit more red, but just the smallest amount. I don't think it really made a huge difference. Um, and I had a lot of dye still um, when I finished, so I used it all up by just like putting it on over and like fully saturating my hair so there shouldn't be any patchiness I hope because I tried my best to like really really saturate this yeah I hope it works um I can already see it, I guess it's kind of turning like a grayish maybe I don't know maybe I'm imagining that so yeah I'll see you guys in a couple of hours I will let you guys know how this turns out okay I left it in for about two hours and I don't really know if it's picking up on camera, especially because the lighting is changing, like it's getting a little bit more sunny outside. Um, I'm using my window for light. Um, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's definitely different. Like it's definitely a more, um, definitely a more muted, like kind of gray toned, I guess. Um, like less vibrant. I actually really like it. I kind of wish I would have done this like <laughs> way earlier because I like this actually way better than like the super vibrant look. But I mean I feel like chunks of it like up here are still pretty vibrant. Um, it definitely got the lightest, the lightest like towards the ends. I know that like adding more semi-permanent dye on top of something can't, can't um, lighten the hair but I don't know, maybe it's just a trick of the eye, but this tone looks lighter to me. Like, it feels like it did lighten my hair. I don't know. I think I'll probably be doing this again, because although I do like it, and I like where it's going, it's definitely not... It's not quite where I need it to be yet. I went ahead and put another round in there. I was careful not to be too afraid of the red. Um, as you can see, kind of, the remains of my mix, it was more of a dark pink. I mean, looks like a pretty hot pink. You can see like it's already changing the color, so I definitely used um, a darker mix this time. And I'm probably gonna leave it in for less time just because it's changing the color so quickly. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys know uh, how it goes and how long I end up leaving it in for. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. It's the next day and let me explain to you what happened yesterday after I put the dye on my hair. So basically I didn't end up leaving it in for more than like 20 minutes because I started to get really nervous because I could see kind of like the pink coming in through like especially on the ends. Um, so I washed it out with cold water after about 20 minutes and let it dry and it was so patchy. Um, there were like purple spots, there was like a, even a little bit of pink. Um, some of it got on my roots and it actually turned my roots a little bit pink. So yeah, it was, it didn't look good. It was really, really patchy. It was like a mix between this color and just like random purples and like a few pinks and it, that sounds kind of pretty, but it wasn't, it was really patchy. And so I panicked um, <laughs> and I immediately, rinsed my hair with hot water, well like warm water and shampoo and that pretty much worked like it got all of the purple and pretty much all the pink out I'm pretty sure and now I'm left with this like bluish color which honestly I like this um I could definitely see people not liking this it's kind of a matter of taste like some people might look at the before and actually prefer that, but um, I'm gonna be honest, 
this is what I needed right now. <laughs> I was getting really tired of looking in the mirror and just seeing like this huge bright color on my head um, and kind of tired of all the looks you get in public when you have a super bright color on your hair. I mean, I'm not complaining, that's what you sign up for when you dye your hair crazy colors, but I don't know. I've had bright green for so long that it kind of, I'm kind of tired of that. So this like really muted like gray blue is actually like, I'm kind of feeling it right now. Um, it's definitely not my like ideal end result, so I'm definitely gonna not stop here. Um, but I think I could like just let this sit for like a little while um, and be fine with it and be happy with it. As I said, like the purple that was in here, like the patchy purple, it did wash out like extremely quickly, like in one shampoo. So maybe there's something to that, like maybe I should do this again and do like a really pink, a really even darker pink and really go for purple and then wash it all out and see what's left. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Honestly, it's weird how this works. Can you believe that this came from putting red dye in my other, in my bright green hair? Like, how does that make any sense? This like gray blue, like hello, what the heck? Look, how does green plus red equal this? <laughs> it's a mystery to me. Um, what? Um, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So you guys can let me know if I should either A, keep this, um, and just keep, um, shampooing it with warm water and just see how it'll fade, if it'll fade, um, or if I should B, go over it once again, um, with a red dye. I mean, I don't even know if I should still do red because... Well, there's still some green in here. Um, the opposite of blue on the color wheel is probably something different. It's probably like orange or something, I don't know. I could make orange. I have yellow dye and um, red dye. Hmm. Yeah, let me know um, if I should basically do it again and try to get purple so that I can fade that out. That might be a good option I don't know but at the same time if something if for some reason the purple doesn't come out I'm gonna be not very happy <laughs> because I don't really want purple hair like at all at least not dark purple like a really light light lilac is fine but I definitely don't want like solid dark purple hair so yeah, I'm gonna be kind of pissed if like <laughs> I end up with that and can't get it out so that's my kind of reservation with that by the way, like, can someone please, <laughs> someone who, like, actually kind of knows about this, um, can you tell me why, like, okay, because, so, what's supposed to happen is, like, if you change it from green to purple, then the purple fades into, like, a white slash silver, like, slash really light purple, right? But why doesn't it fade back to green? Like, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, like, if you fade something, doesn't it just go back to like whatever layer you have underneath? Logically in my brain, like that's what should happen, but I'm seeing these people doing videos and like making their hair um, <laughs> purple and then it fades nicely and doesn't go back to green at all. So yeah, <laughs> can someone, if you know, can you tell me how that works, please? Anyways, um, I think I'm gonna end this video here and go ahead and post it because I want to like keep you guys updated on like what I'm doing to my hair. I don't want to randomly like have this color in my next video and then you guys don't know what I'm doing. I'm definitely going to be making a part two to this, um, see what we can get because obviously this isn't my ideal end result. Um, but I do like it a little bit better than what I had before, so at least there's that. Um, it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea. I think a lot of people probably hate this. Like. <laughs> I don't know, this like really muted like grayish blue, I think a lot of people probably don't like it at all. They probably liked what I had originally better, but I think this is preferable. So at the end of the day, I'm the one that has to wear it on my head, so that's all that really matters. That being said, I love hearing what you guys think, so go ahead and leave a comment below because I'm always curious. Okay, no I did not just re-dye my hair, I literally just changed my camera's 
white balance <laughs> to something different um, to auto actually and it's suddenly like this looks really blue I would say how it was before was a little bit more accurate to how it is in person but I'm just showing you guys like how it could look how it could look different just from changing a setting on my camera this is about to be the hair that looks a different color in like every single picture you take of it I swear I just took a few pictures and it looks different in like every picture I'll show you so I kind of hate that um, <laughs> that makes me want to get rid of this because I hate when I can't tell like exactly what color my hair is it's so annoying <laughs> okay I have the giggles right now I'm sorry yeah thanks so much for watching everyone and see you guys later bye <laughs>